Hey y'all, Andrea from Andrea Speaks TV, back to bring you more news and commentary you can use. Listen, thank you all so much for supporting the channel, and I hope you are well and your family is doing well. Listen, y'all, we've been talking about this now for quite some time on the channel. I've been telling y'all, telling y'all, winter is coming, and the fact that you know, due to these unusual weather weather patterns <coughs> and what they're calling uh, El Nino, this winter was is supposed to be, you know, they're forecasting one like no other. Listen, y'all, in my particular area here in Georgia, um, weather predictions are already saying that it's about to get extremely cold. So I just want to come on with uh, a quick reminder for you to check your local weather report. But let me tell you about the specific weather that's coming. OK, now, according to my sources, OK, out of um, Atlanta, OK, they're telling uh, people across Georgia to get ready for a big shock to the system. Now, uh, the weather here has for the most part, been, you know, warm, um, somewhere high 70s, you know, maybe like the mid 80s, possibly. It's been pretty warm, but, okay, temperatures are about to tumble beginning Tuesday into Wednesday. As a matter of fact, y'all, some parts of Georgia are, are even under a freeze watch, okay? So they have put a freeze watch in effect uh, for late Tuesday through Wednesday morning. For some parts of Georgia, uh, North Georgia mountains and that area to be exact. And they're even saying, y'all, that some temperatures are predicted to be as low as 23 degrees um, and even as low as 28 degrees in some metro Atlanta areas. OK, um, they're also saying that many outlying areas areas will be in the 20s. Uh, temperatures could fall as low as 23 degrees in the higher elevations of Northeast Georgia early Wednesday. <coughs> Some metro areas will be as low as 28 degrees by Wednesday morning. Um, and they're also saying the wind, y'all. Okay, there's wind coming. The wind will make it feel even colder. Um, they're even expecting wind chills Wednesday morning in the upper teens and lower 20s. Um, there will be, however, sunshine in the area on Wednesday, but it will be cold and blustery is what they're calling okay so if you or your family uh you all celebrate halloween and you're going out trick-or-treating uh you know not only be safe you know doing that but also you want to check your uh weather you want to check your uh, local weather report uh if you plan to be outside during that time okay um there's another report uh give me just a moment y'all let me pull that up um and uh, share with you all some information about that. Let's see. Give me just a minute, y'all. Let me. Okay, so with the cold weather coming, y'all, we need to talk about heating your home safely. Um, a freeze warning. Okay, freeze warning. Uh, freeze watch. I already talked about that. Uh, as the winter months are on their way, okay, <clears throat> we can expect the temperatures will continue to drop. And, of course, families will be turning on their heat. Okay, now heating equipment, according to my sources, is a leading cause of home fires in the U.S. And the American Red Cross is urging families to take steps to heat their homes safely. Okay, listen to this, y'all. Um, according to the National Fire Protection Association, or the NFPA, fire departments respond to more than 44,200 home fires, home heating fires each year which caused hundreds of losses of life and more than 1,300 injuries, okay? Also, according to my sources, the NFPA reports that space heaters are most often responsible for home heating fires, and a Red Cross survey shows that more than half of the U.S. homeowners use space heaters, okay? It's very critical, according to my information, to keep at least three feet of space around all heating equipment and never leave space heaters unattended, okay? Okay. Now, just to give you some solutions, okay? So I, I not only do I want to bring you awareness, but I also want to talk about some solutions. Here are some quick heating safety tips to follow as the nights get colder. Again, y'all, please make sure you do your research on this, okay? Now, um, the first uh, safety tip that I would like to share with you all, if uh, according to my sources, if you must use a space heater, place it on a level, hard, and non-flammable surface, such as a ceramic tile floor. Do not place it on rugs and, or carpets or near bedding and drapes, okay? And keep children and pets away from the heater, all right? Also, uh, something you may want to keep in mind, plug space heater power cords directly into outlets. Never an extension cord, okay? My sources advise, turn it off every time you leave the room <coughs> or go to sleep, okay? 
Also, they're saying, okay, according to my sources, never use a cooking range or oven to heat your home. Never leave a fire burning in the fireplace unattended. Make sure any embers in the fireplace are extinguished before going to bed or leaving home. Use a glass or metal fire screen to keep embers in the fireplace. And the last tip that I want to share, um, according to my sources, have furnaces, chimneys, fireplaces, wood, and coal stoves inspected annually by professional chimney sweeps and clean if necessary. Okay. Um, oh, something else, y'all. They're also advising us uh, to uh, test our smoke alarms monthly, practice the home fire escape plan. Okay. I have a uh, graphic that I'll share on the community tab. You all can check that out. Um <clears throat> and they're actually saying to practice your home fire escape plan so everyone can escape in less than two minutes, which it says is the amount of time you may have to get out of, out of a burning home before it is too late, okay? Now, if you, for some reason, you cannot afford to purchase smoke alarms or are physically unable to install one, my sources are saying that the Red Cross may be able to help you and for you to contact your local Red Cross chapter office for help, okay? Listen, y'all. Again, cold weather is coming. Please make sure you check your uh, weather in your local area. Be prepared. Again, um, you know, we've been talking about the need to not only have emergency food supply and survival needs, but also have water and our survival needs. Make sure you have things like thick blankets, um, socks. Uh, make sure that you also have batteries, you know, in the event of a power outage. Okay, we know a lot of times with the cold weather and things like that, for some reason, um, it could lead to, you know, power outage for prolonged periods of time. Okay, do you have enough food stored, water, essentials, medicine, if you if you have to take or use medicine? Do you have what you need in your home? Okay, if you had to uh, just stay at home, okay, because of things like, you know, the roads were um, icy or, you know, some other type of, uh, you know, situation going on outside that, you know, they told you to stay at home. Do you have what you need? Okay. If not, while you have time and while it's available, okay, <clears throat> you may want to, you know, get those things that you need. Okay. But again, y'all, I just want to come on with a quick message, an urgent alert. Please make sure you check the local weather in your area. For many parts, uh, I told you all here where I am in Georgia, uh, but in other parts of the United States, uh, they are already seeing snow, y'all. They're already seeing snow in some parts of uh, the United States. Um, but the frost and the freeze are coming. Okay. All right. Take care. Y'all be blessed. Let me know what's happening in your area. Stay tuned for more news and commentary you can use right here on Andrea Speaks TV.